everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, this is gonna be kind of like an impromptu vlog style video, I guess you can say. This is not a formal video, but I'm in the process of redoing my whole plant room. I'm rearranging some things, repotting some things, and also getting rid of some things. And I'm down to my last plant here, and I noticed that it has many bugs. So I figured I'd film this process for you guys, but I get a lot of questions on how I treat for them. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Um, this is my Aglaonema Calypso Supreme. And I picked this up from Home Depot, ooh, probably about maybe like four or five months ago. I left it in its original pot, and this is also the original soil that it came in. So I did not repot this plant when I brought it home, which is completely rare for me. If you guys know me and have been following for a while, you know that I repot everything as soon as I bring it home, almost before I bring it home, because literally as soon as I park, I dump all the soil off in the garage before I bring the plant in the house because I don't want to risk bringing fungus gnats or anything else into my home. So this was a plant that I just took a chance on. I didn't feel like repotting it just because of the size of it at the time. And I figured it would be okay, but clearly I am paying the price for it now. And y'all excuse all the mess in the background. Again, a work in progress. So anywho, if you guys are not familiar with what mealybugs are or what they look like, they are these white, tiny fuzzy little bugs that live on the tops of leaves also the undersides of leaves if i can get this to focus that would be great and then they also are found on the stems and any crevices of the plant so and they do also make this kind of like web looking structure if you can see that there in the center my camera will cooperate oh my gosh okay focus there we go so yeah that is what they look like if you can see like they kind of look like little cottony things just stuck on the leaves. So they're super gross and they will suck the life out of your leaves. As you can see, this plant is starting to yellow. Uh, they're super gross, but in my opinion and also in my experience, they're very easy to treat for and to get rid of. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use. First up, I use these. These are just some regular, regular, schmegular. Um, cotton swabs. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. I think this pack is actually from Target. Yeah. Up and Up is Target brand. And then my good old friend, Mr. Alcohol. So those are the only two things that I use. Basically what I'll do is I'll go through and remove any damage that I see, any of the yellow leaves. I'll pull those off. Um, the leaves that are like this, that are still green, I leave those on and I just manually remove any bugs that I see with my eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the camera and I'll let y'all watch a few clips of my process. I probably won't film the whole thing because quite frankly, filming slows down everything for me and I'm trying to get this done. It's late at night, so yeah. Again, this is not a formal how to get rid of mealybugs video. This is just showing you guys what I do. So I hope you find this helpful and I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Okay, so I hope I got a camera at an angle where you guys can see. Excuse my hands and ashiness, y'all. I have been literally repotting and washing my hands all day today. So sorry in advance. But usually what I do is I just take one of these little plastic tray things and I'll fill that up with some alcohol. Okay, so I've got my little alcohol here and I'm just gonna pour a little bit into this tray. And all I do is I take my little cotton swab here, swirl it around in the tray get some alcohol on it, and then I manually go through every single leaf and remove the mealybug. So as soon as the mealybug touches the alcohol, it dies, and they're very easy to remove, and I just take the alcohol and go up and down the entire stem on both sides of the leaves. Got one there. Also make sure to remove any kind of like fuzz or cottony stuff that they left behind and yeah that's pretty much it so that's all I do is I go through every single leaf and manually remove the bugs That's pretty much it, y'all. I'm going to fast forward this because, again, I'm trying to get this done. But I hope you guys can kind of 
gauge or get the process of what I'm talking about. But you do the same thing for the stems. And then once I got the bugs off, I just kind of swirl my cotton swab down around in the solution. I'll use the same cotton swab maybe for like two or three leaves. And then once I have too many bugs on it that I feel, I will go in and just get another cotton swab. I'm just going to go through every single leaf and stem, remove anything white and fuzzy that I see. Make sure you get all the little cotton structures off of the stems. Can you see that there? I don't know if this is going to focus. There we go. So gross. Trash. I basically will go stem by stem just to make sure I don't miss any leaves or stems. I'll just pick one stalk, do that whole stalk, and then rotate the plant and go to the next one. Just to make sure I get everything and don't miss anything. Okay, I'm almost done, but really quick, I just wanted to show you guys what an actual mealybug looks like. So there you go. They do have antennas. So most of what you'll see will just be the white cottony like residue that they leave behind. But this is the actual mealybug. It will have antennas coming out of it. I'm going to remove you. Die. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done. It's been about 30 minutes or so, and oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I see one that I missed. Hold up. Okay, we're back. So, as I was saying, it's been about 30 minutes, and y'all, this is a large plant. So, normally it does not take this long, but I wanted to make sure that I went through and got everything that I could see with the naked eye. I did end up using about two, four, six, eight, ten cotton swabs I do use both sides and then I did throw some in the trash that had like a whole bunch on them so yeah maybe about 15 or so of these little cotton swabs to do the whole plant again this is a huge plant you guys um, so yeah you could do this process weekly um, I normally will check my plant every two to three days just to make sure I'm, I'm paranoid you guys so I will probably be checking this plant every single day just to make sure nothing else pops up but you could just do this process, maybe like weekly, check on your plant. Anytime that you see a mealybug, take a little cotton swab, dip it in some alcohol, and just pop the mealybug off and do it that way. But me personally, hello, my name is Jessica, and I love repotting things. I am going to be putting her into some new soil. So I'm going to take her downstairs. Before I repot her, I am going to hit her with some Rose RX. This is an all-purpose fungicide and insecticide and miticide. It's a three-in-one, so I'm just going to hit her leaves a little bit just to make sure I'm getting anything that I missed. And she can be soaking while I repot her. So I'm just going to go ahead and drench everything. Okay, so while she's soaking, I forgot to tell you guys that I did have her sitting in a drench. This is just water and neem oil mixed together. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just repot her completely because I just don't feel comfortable with the soil that she's in. So yeah, you can do that as well. Just drench your soil with some neem oil if you wanna go a more natural organic route. But yeah, I'm not taking no chances. I love this aglaonema. I have not seen this one in particular in any stores or online. So yeah, I'm gonna try and save her. So let's go repot. Okay, y'all, so I've got her pretty much 75% repotted. I did leave some space here where I still need to go in and add some more soil to top dress her. The reason I didn't fully top dress her is because now I'm going to go in and do my debugging treatment. 
If you guys have not seen my how to permanently get rid of spider mites video, I will leave that link down in the description box as well as up in the card so you can check out that video. I go into way more in-depth steps on how to do this process. Basically, all I do is I'm going to fill up my water bottle here. This is a 32 fluid ounce bottle. I know you guys asked for measurements in that video. I do not measure anything. I eyeball, but just for the purposes of this video for you guys, I got y'all. I'm gonna fill this up to the five fluid ounce line with alcohol. I'm gonna add in maybe like five squeezes of dish soap and the rest I'm going to fill up with water. So that is my mixture. I am also gonna add in a few drops of essential oil. I'm going to be using eucalyptus oil. I love the smell of eucalyptus. You can use any essential oil that you like or you could just not add oil at all, but eucalyptus is a natural insect deterrent. Um, rosemary, I know personally, is another one that really works well with preventing insects. Okay, so like I said, alcohol first. Five fluid ounces of alcohol, you guys. I can't believe I'm doing this, y'all. I never measure anything. I eyeball everything that I do. So let's see, five fluid ounces. Okay. And then a little bit of dish soap. One, two, three. I'm actually just doing three. I told y'all like five, you only need three. You don't need a lot. This just helps the mixture stick to the leaves. It's just a sticking agent. And the rest I'm going to fill up with water. And then lastly, a few drops of eucalyptus oil. Okay. And we're good. All right, you guys, so she is freshly repotted. I did finish top dressing her. I did also sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top of her just because she was really wet from the shower and I don't wanna risk any gnats. So gnats do not like cinnamon, by the way. Little tip there. So yeah, she's freshly repotted. Um, she's pretty much air dried. What I'm going to do is just let her sit overnight. I am gonna come back tomorrow and just clean off her leaves with some neem oil and water and that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. It lets YouTube know that you like the video and to recommend it to others. Subscribe to my channel for more. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.